I've been a member of Calvary for a long time, and I was always very intrigued and, and loved how Calvary was always reaching people. My kids went on missions, both here in the country and internationally, and I loved that. Never would have thought that I had any fear of missions. Probably about eight years in, nine years into my membership here at Calvary, every time they played this, this video of this ministry partner that they had, I would get this feeling like somehow I was supposed to be involved in, in that particular ministry. That was for years. I wouldn't have recognized a fear, but I think I was feeling safe behind excuses. There were just a lot of reasons why it wasn't my time. Probably about eight or nine years after, God started prompting my heart and I, I ran out of excuses. That's when I recognized that I was really scared of it. In 2014, I agreed to go on my first mission trip to Project Manuelito. Super excited but just mountainous fear. Went to all the meetings and prepping and meeting all the team that I was going to be with, and I think they probably all knew I was very scared as well. Pastor Terry was teaching us about praying boldly and challenged us. Pray this bold prayer. Ask God to lead you to a very specific need that you know only that He could be answering for you. And so ironically, I'm praying this, preparing for this mission, getting ready to go in February of 2015, and, and that's when we made our journey. And surprisingly, my sister decided to join me at the last minute. I gained about this much courage um, with her coming along, and so we got started and, and headed off to the project. We go inside, the gates close, and you're in the project, so that's, your, that's where you are for the week. We, we did get to meet the kids that night, and so they're introducing themselves to us, we're introducing ourselves to them, and there was this little girl, and she kind of stuck herself to me, and, and I loved that, and I was just, I had a little friend right away, and um, it was a good night. As the days passed, Cindy and I, the little girl's name was Cindy, our relationship was growing. And so I learned midweek that Cindy actually didn't live in the project. The project wasn't just about the 45 kids that lived there. There were 90 plus kids coming from outside the town of Tulunga to come in for school every day, simply because in Honduras, you have to pay for public school. Project Manuelito is providing them an education, providing them a meal, providing them a way to learn about Jesus. So this little friend that I made, she had broken her collarbone and Manuelito kept her there for a bed to sleep in, three meals a day so that her bones would heal. I was super happy in realizing God's timing at that point because I wouldn't have met her, chances are, because you get really tight with the project kids, but not necessarily the town kids. So as the week is going on, um, Justin, the American missionary, is really super burdened one day. He was explaining that they had a, a family of brothers and sisters and that the children had some medical attention. They had some bites and whatnot. Come to find out they had a bigger problem. Once the teachers investigated the bites, they really needed help. Basically, they needed to move the family to a safer home. They needed a sponsor to do this. And his wife, she shows me the picture. And there are three children. And behind the three children is an older child with her hands around him, and it was Cindy. And my sister was sitting across the table from me, and she said, it looked as if I saw a ghost. She said, I went white and I lost my breath and I realized that um, all these years of prompting that God was showing me that His Word is true. 
and his timing is right and that Cindy was there. She didn't live there, but she happened to be in the project the week that I was there. I was praying for the specific need. It just was like God meeting me face to face and showing me, this is why you can trust me. Don't let your fear keep you from my prompts because when I'm leading you somewhere, I'm going to give you the courage. I'm going to show you what your fear's keeping you from. And I learned they needed a, a small amount of, of money, a sponsorship to move this family into a safer place. And um, I, I was like, I can be that sponsor without a doubt, move them. I'm not cured of fear but I know where to go with it now. I know that um, my faith has to be bigger than my fear. And I know that maybe I'm not gonna have the courage to do something. I'm gonna gain that courage from God. I mean, that was only Him. That to, to have that so uniquely and intricately intertwined that that little girl was there and didn't live in the project, but was there and attached herself to me and me to her, you know, that's God.